Hi friends, today we are going to paint this beautiful seascape. And on a canvas board and with these two uh, colors we are going to paint in this way the sky. With zigzag movements we are filling and with more dark and intense color in the uh, in the up of the sky. Okay. Now more white we are standing in this way our painting we will use a very limited palette that is better when we are beginning with painting as less colors you use more harmonic may be your paintings use more colors when you uh, achieve a more experienced level of painting Okay, horizontal line is the horizon line. Okay, more white here and the background of our sky is almost finished. Now with these two colors we are going to begin to paint the sea. Mixing this, phthalo green it's a very uh, a bluish uh, green and gives more tone than color in itself. In this way, more dark when uh, it is near to us. In this way, we will fill our canvas. Canvas board are very practiced because uh, they are easily uh, to uh, store and are very good to uh, paint. Okay, stain. You may fill your uh, canvas in this in this way, and the last the last black strokes must be horizontal, imitating the uh, the the flatness of the sea. Some lines in this way, not. Uh, in this way a, li a little rough is necessary here okay. it's very 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 easy as you can see painting with acrylics is a really uh, um, an amazing an amazing uh, exercise and an amazing form of art because acrylics today are, are have very rich colors and very uh, and a very wide uh, textures, thickness of the painting, uh, mediums. For me, today are the best the best painting medium, and it it is not less than its older brother, oleum oil painting with our own brass and with ja and with uh, our painting uh, under painting must be must be dry with a, a brass round with a little of water you don't see but at my left I have a glass of water and I am I wet my my brasses but not too much brass must be wet but not with full of water nor dry nor too much water with practice you can achieve the level of uh, wetness in your pencil in your brass that you need okay later i'll uh, retouch and finish my clouds okay yes you can do this as you know acrylics dry very fast so you must be uh, fast painting okay now with lemon yellow and gray paints gray we can uh, make some green some green very interesting and dark okay as you see i don't tell you the number of um, of my brass 
brasses. Why? Because the use of brass uh, is not an, uh, an exact science. It most is you must use the feeling what the, the pain you must uh, gain the experience to choose the brushes that suit with your uh, way of painting i don't know if you understand my very poor english but uh, i try <laughs> okay for this i'm using a filbert filbert brass okay when when you paint it is the same with oil painting or acrylic painting as when you paint with more and more layers of painting your canvas achieves more intensity of colors and more brightness so it is better not to paint in only one layer but with many layers of painting and when we are painting the sea it is fundamental fundament, fundamental to paint each layer one by one achieving more effects because water itself is transparent and in the movement of the sea sometimes we see the the bottom of the the sea sometimes we see the reflection of the sky sometimes we see even uh, fishes okay so a uh, pain layer after layer to achieve the results that you wish okay as you see video is a little very little accelerated is almost at real time and i have uh, haven't cut any part of it so you can see all the whole process of painting okay it is very important to lose your brush strokes the secret is that if you are painting some very tiny details of some kind you take uh, your brass near to the point okay but if you wish very loose brush, brush strokes because uh, these are I don't know uh, far far parts of a landscape or waves of water etc take your brass from uh, the end the end of the final end of the brass okay and for more interesting painting change your brush brush strokes as many times as you can When things are farther from us, we must paint them more and more a uh, little tiny. Okay? Okay? Now? Let's continue with this. While I am doing this, uh, while I am painting another layer of water, uh, if you haven't do, done yet, please subscribe to my channel, because I I am I never I never achieve my goal of upload videos the same day, no, at all, <laughs> never. I've been seven years uploading tutorials in this channel and other channels and never I have achieved the goal of upload my videos the same day. If you like these videos and wish to know when I upload them, 
I advise you to subscribe and click the bell to know when I <laughs> upload a new video. <laughs> and click like if you wish. Okay. Some reflections in this way. And yes, you are thinking right. You're thinking right. If there is very strong reflection of white in the water, I'll have to paint more strong whites in the clouds of the sky. I'll do it later, you'll see. This is acrylic retarder, a good friend of you. If you wish uh, that your paint is, is dries slower, uh, you must use, as you see, a very, a very uh, little of this acrylic retarder, okay? And only in the last, last uh, layers of painting, never in the first layers, because it retards, as its name says, it retards the drying of the painting. If you paint the first layers with this, when you are going to paint over that, you'll crack your painting it will not work fine you can use retarder acrylic retarder only in the last or the, or the very last uh, layers of painting with acrylic retarder you emulate the time of drying of uh, oil painting but don't use too much or your paint will not uh, dry in days and will uh, maybe it's not too good for acrylic painting big weight too much time okay so only use a, a drop like this okay continue with this as you see I'm not using an easel, my, my familiar easel, to paint. This is a, a what you see, is a cardboard, <laughs> yes, over a chair. And if you are seeing this uh, in another year, you will not know why I'm doing this. But the reason is, at this time, we are all at home because COVID-19 a coronavirus that had stopped our world and have killed many many people and now we are in a quarantine uh, the half of the world is at quarantine in our homes and i don't have my professional materials at home so i was thinking how to paint and put a cardboard like this and this is done with very you you may uh, paint with whatever you have but it is true that thanks to amazon i have now uh, painting to use because when quarantine at spain my my country when quarantine was uh, set by the government but government uh, i have in my house any no, no no materials at all i've been uh, waiting to uh, buy materials and thanks to amazon i have buy them okay now a little more here like c c letters And the rest of the process is very visual. retarder painting 
are a less opaque, are more translucent. So maybe you have to uh, give more quantity of paint to achieve some details. Okay. More here. Don't paint too much detail at the far part of the sea because if you paint with too much detail in the farther parts of your landscapes you don't achieve a deepness in your paintings. Details must be painted only in the nearer part, the next to us parts of our theme, our landscape, our uh, seascape, etc. And even, even when you are using tiny, tiny brushes, try to give your brush strokes loosely. And if you um, make a brush stroke uh, wrong, where it has not to be, don't worry, acrylic dries very fast. You may wait uh, a few minutes, half an hour, and paint over it without any problem, and no one will see your brow stroke, your wrong brow bra stroke. Okay? But you can use, if you make some bra wrong brow strokes, etc., you may use them and try to uh, achieve a more artistic painting thanks to your uh, mistakes. As Bob Ross was saying all his life, these are happy, happy mistakes. Because with them, we achieve more creative and more vital paintings. Okay. What do you think? You, do you prefer my videos uh, narrated like this? Or just with uh, music? I don't I have not uh, I don't know really what what do you think what do you think in, in that in that aspect of my videos? I've been 7 years uploading tutorials, but no no one person thinks the the same. If you wish, I, I appreciate if you say me in a comment if you wish narrated videos or only with music. 
things. Let's paint some more here. And the last details. And our painting will be finished. Clouds with our round brows almost dry in this way and it is it is done i think it is very beautiful i really like it now it's your it's your turn it's your it's your time to paint and to achieve your dreams with painting Fine with a transparent layer of the ultramarine blue, only at the sea, and it is done. What do you think? Do you like it? See you soon in the next tutorial. Bye.